Good morning, welcome to the garden. Well, my buddy just dropped this orchid off. Um, this is a new Vanda, or a Vandacious type. It's actually not a Vanda. It's um, actually an Arachnus cross. It's Arachnus uh, hookeriana um, crossed with Rhynchus stylus uh, gigantea. And so that makes it a Arachnostylus. Okay, so this is Arachnostylus jitime. The cross was started back in uh, 1967, or registered in 1967. And uh, beautiful, gorgeous flowers. Um, it actually started with that, and then they back-crossed it with this one, um, back to Rhynchostylus gigantea. So this should be a real spotty flower. I've got some pics that I've downloaded. So anyway, what do you guys think about the basket? Okay, that's what I got for it. They, that's the only size they had um, for that. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of had to buy that one because that's the only size they had. So, um, I'm going to use charcoal as the media in here. Um, so, it's inert, so it's not going to be really too big of a deal. I guess this thing can get pretty good sized. So, anyway, that's the basket. I'll step back so you can see it a bit better. I think it'll, it's going to do okay in that. It's either that or I can, hold on, let me pause, or I can opt for a clay pot, uh, your standard orchid pot, so, but I think it's going to do better in the basket, personally, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just pop it in that basket, even though it's kind of a large basket, I think it's going to do okay, so, um, yeah, anyway, um, here's a few pics of what the flower should look like, possibly. Um, but it's a nice cut. I'll give you a close-up here. What's up with that? But kind of a discoloration. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad of a cut. Now, this plant, it's come off of a big plant, so. Alrighty. Guess he's had that for a number of years, so. All right, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, knock it right into this with some big chunky charcoal, and we'll be back. All right, I think that looks actually pretty good. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I think that's going to do fine in that basket. Um, also, here's some pics of what the flowers should look like. More pics of the flowers. Um, we are going to do the cross with the Epidendrum and the BC Mykai. So we've decided we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll do, I'll just wait and hold off on doing the uh, reboxing of the BC Mykai until the seed pod is ready on it. And then we'll go ahead and send the seed pods off um, both ways. We'll do pollen from BC Mykai to the Raniferum, Raniferum to BC Mykai and go from there. Um, also, we, uh, we got something else today. I, I posted a community pic about it. So, yeah, it's this right here. That is uh, a cacao, or chocolate. That's a pot off a chocolate tree. So I'm going to be planting up uh, some chocolate tree seeds. Uh, we found a chocolate pod today when we went shopping. Our local, our San Juan market here in Tampa had these guys so yeah I picked one up man they're not cheap either that cost me about nine dollars uh, for that pod so but uh, anyway that's chock full of seed and we're gonna plant that right up and we'll do a taste test too because you can eat the uh, the gunk inside of it or uh, that encases the seed so uh, but anyway that is Theobroma cacao for all my tree people out there, yeah, we're going to be planting some chocolate trees. That's going to be cool. But anyway, here's the last look of the Arachnus, Arachnus stylus jitime. I'll put that in here, the name of it, the correct spelling and all that. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. I don't have much to do. I got all my watering done yesterday, so, uh, yeah. I'll do a separate video on busting this guy open, tasting the seeds. We also got pistachio, raw pistachios at the market, too. So I'm going to be planting some pistachio trees um, and giving you some info on those as well. So 
All right, guys, love and peace. Keep it growing, and we'll definitely see you guys on the flip side. And we'll end out with some more pics of uh, the flowers here. And uh, guess who uh, did this cross? I did a post about him. He was 95 years old when he passed away last year. Yeah, Rampy Sagarik did this cross. So, all right, guys, see ya. Have a good day. Bye-bye.